Here comes Serafina. She's a charming go anywhere 57 foot trad built by Liverpool Boats in 2004. The present owners have had her since 2014 um, and during their tenure with her they've had Rob Show update some of the Coventry in keeping with the Liverpool Boats style. She is fitted out in oak faced ply to the hull sides and horizontal oak tongue and groove with oak trim to the cabin sides and the ceiling. As you can see she's well presented, it's got a nice polish to the outside. On the roof there is 200 watt solar panels, inside there's an MPPT controller, it's also a galvanic isolator and landline on board. It's nice side hatches on both sides as you've just seen, we'll get a better look at those on the way through. In that bow locker there are two 13kg propane bottles with a manual changeover. The well deck is 3 foot 10 with these padded seat benches either side. There is storage underneath both of those, glazed cratch board. Have a look at the storage here. This padded seat comes off here just to get you access, it's the same on the other side as well. Some bits and pieces in there. Nice glazed forward doors. And then into the saloon. Saloon is 11 feet. There is a matching two-seater sofa, captain's chair and footstool side hatch on the port side both of the side hatches have roof hatches attached as well and built-in fly screens that just slide down there's perspex covers for those as well there's two little tables nester tables there that's the sofa that is an arrow fires solid fuel stove storage in the front step with some fire lighters and stove paint Covered here, a set of guides, DVDs and books if you get bored on this one, if you want to come and do a viewing and spend some time on her I suppose. It's a cello 24 inch TV DVD in the corner as well. And then this cupboard door here, well this cupboard's above, and this cupboard door here gives you access to the 6 kilogram candy washing machine. Next up is the galley. The galley is 8 foot 3. It's a laminate worktop in here. Cupboards above the oven. It's quite typical of Liverpool boats fit out. That's a Thetford Caprice 4 burner gas hob oven and grill. That's relatively new. And a pan drawer, pot and pan drawer underneath. Large cupboard under the sink. And then this cupboard, this is one of the updated cupboards. They've been added a little drawer in there, a little cutlery drawer. Stainless steel sink. And then on the other side, we've got access to those cupboards again. So that's from both sides. Little cupboard there. Obviously the washing machine's in that corner space. And then you've got a 12 volt LEC fridge with ice box shelves there and another little cupboard. Plenty of storage here in the galley, even a tin of beans included. This is the dinette. The dinette is seven feet long. It does convert into a spare double. There's storage above. On the other end Oh, so you've got storage underneath as well, forgot to mention that. That hatch at the back just lifts up, so you've got storage in the raised section and storage in both of the benches. You've got a curtain here which comes across for privacy, and at the back of the dinette you've got this space for larger storage items, so you could easily store a clothes horse and a um, ironing board in there if you wanted to. And as I mentioned, there's the, uh, the other side hatch as well in here. Bathroom corridor, again typical of Liverpool's, has the wardrobe in, it's a single wardrobe there. Then the bathroom is 6 foot 6, it's ceramic basin recessed into the vanity cupboard, storage in there. 
That is a Jabsco pump out loo. Shelf above. Heated towel rail. And the tiled shower surround with the shower curtain. There there's two perspex screens for the side hatches. And then into the bedroom. Bedroom is 8 foot 10. There is a 6 foot by 4 foot 6 cross bed. That bit just sort of slides across and slots into the uh, other side. And you've got drawers underneath. Pump out tank is also housed below. Um, so the storage is mainly those two drawers. And then there is a little cubby hole in the middle. Cupboards above. They've made good use of the head height space on this boat. Head height on board is six foot five, so plenty of head height. Drawers on this side, and then a double wardrobe. The double wardrobe houses the calorifier. Hot water is heated by the engine, an eberspatcher, and an immersion. So this wardrobe could also double up as an airing cupboard. As I've mentioned, there is an Eberspatcher, so that does your central heating. It's connected to the three radiators and the heated towel rail. And then we have the engine room. The engine room is four foot five. The Isuzu IM4 LC38 engine is housed below. That's actually 42 horsepower. Have a quick look in here. Housed in the engine room as well is the Electrolux 3500 travel power generator providing 240 volt power on the move and the Mastervolt Dakar 2500 watt inverter charger. There is cupboards either side. They were part of the cabinetry installed by Rob Schoen, so it just gives you a little bit more storage space in here. Some polishes and stuff in there as well. Then out onto the Tradstern deck those TAF seats were new in May 2019, at the same time as the boat blacking. There was also the gunnels and the tunnel bands were repainted at the same time as well. The engine was last serviced in May 2022. And there was a survey in 2014, which is available for viewing in the office. 12 volt power is supplied by a bank of four 110 amp hour domestics with a separate starter and there's a battery monitor on board as well. She comes with all of the relevant navigation equipment, windlasses, mooring pins, piling irons, ropes, fenders, you name it, she's got it. She's even coming comes with an anchor. So she's fully kitted out really um, for liveaboard life the current owners have used her as a summer cruiser um, but you'd be quite comfortable living on this one so that's Serafina for a fully downloadable color brochure the full specs and the price visit our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk